Hi, welcome back. I'm Brain Era, and today we are continuing Subnautica Below Zero. And we are left here in Parvin's base. He was the security officer, I'm guessing, for this site. And we're gonna nip out in a bit to find out exactly what this is. Because it doesn't actually show it, which is quite interesting. But I know it's there, or I think I know it's there. And uh, you're gonna lose your shit when you see it. Oh, I thought I saw something that I could scan. Anyway, we've got Parvin's awesome bed now as well, which has the um, the design that uh, Unknown Worlds has for T-shirts, actually. Um, the Ghost Leviathan from the first game, which is really cool. Can't take this, um, and I can't use the fridge. But we do have some stuff to look at. Oh yeah, I picked up two posters, of course. Um, and we've got the snow fox now. We've got the snow fox jump module. And we've got Parvan's bed. Because I had to scan that in, of course. We've got a new beacon, I think. Do we have a new beacon? Oh no, we don't. Okay. No new beacon. I've just got four that I need to visit. Plenty of photos, of course. Um, Alan had a little bit of a... A chat with us earlier. Or in the previous episode, anyway. Greetings, families. This is from Parvin. My dearest Adeline at Rosita. Ah, not dearest. Who says that anymore? Oh, why not? Adeline, Rosita. Hmm. Everything on the mission is going very well. Do you see now? Your doubts were unfounded. I am loved here, and... Oh, no. Rosita will say, Papa, why do you have to brag all the time? Papa, it's embarrassing. Aww. I want to apologize. Okay, no, that's taking things too far. <laughs> I know we didn't leave things on the best note, but I want you to know I love you and I miss you. I don't know why I say the things I say sometimes. They just mm. come out. I was going to send you a message saying how great everything is here and... How everyone loves me. I've had a promotion to a very important security dossier. I'm treated like a hero. But really, this is a cold, wet planet. The scientists are full of themselves. There's no action to speak of. The only thing I look forward to is weekly games of Alien Intruder, but more than go. that, of coming home to you. Aww. I am sorry for all the times I did not appreciate you. Uh, of our family... Uh, or the good life we had. It's always in and hindsight. I... Oh, who am I kidding? I can't send this. What's the use? Oh, Parvin. And now you've died, or supposedly died, without ever sending that to them. That's so sad. I hope we get to send all the messages that were left behind. Right? Well, this is still going on about um, the cheating in the game. If you're not cheating, then you won't mind if I record this conversation. Is that right? I have nothing to hide. Then what were you whispering about with Vin? Nothing. Th that guy is so lawful good, it's annoying. Wait, so <laughs> you were trying to cheat. But no cheating occurred, so what does it matter? It matters to team morale. If you can cheat in the game, how can they trust you out there? That's I'm true. sorry, did you feel left out? Perhaps you would like to make a deal. Ugh, Parvin, no. You're shameless. You really never give up, do you? I don't. That's true. <laughs> Have a manual put that in my next eval. Very persistent. Hmm. Very persistent indeed. Indigenous life forms. We've got carnivores, snow stalker. Because I scanned one of the babies instead of one of the big mammoths. Snow Stalker is a bear-like evolutionary offshoot of the aquatic stalker native to the warmer aquatic biomes of 4546b. Behavior: Snow Stalkers are typically apex predators in their biomes. They operate in packs and are primarily land-based creatures, but will enter the water to hunt and defend territory. Notable physical attributes: thick, hollow fur that secretes a thin layer of oil helps keep the snow stalker warm in arctic climate. Modified dorsal fin aid in aquatic hunting. The cyan bioluminescence on the tongue and tail help the pack stay together during winter storms. That makes sense! Assessment of void. 
If entering Snowstalker territory is necessary, sources of bright light and unpredictable noises have been shown to deter attacks. Oh, noises as well now. Interesting. Land. Glow fungus. The glow fungus is commonly found in dark caves and is marked by its exhibition of biofluorescence. So that's the, um, the, the plants that we saw in the cave that I held the light up to, because it will take the light in itself, which is really, really useful. Um, and then the sea... Oh yeah, the hy hydrothermal vent that I swam past. Hydrothermal vents are created when water filters through cracks in the planetary crust and ultimately collides with hot magma. Not so cool. I love all this. Because this is all, you know, this happens on Earth too. So, it is, it's very... I, the biologist in me just finds it absolutely fascinating. Um, to to learn about all these things and yeah it's just it's just good I love it it's like I'm doing my favorite kind of um, subject in school and play a game at the same time so I'm nerding out in multiple levels it's great so this is despite the intense temperatures these vents are home to their own ecosystems of life which is also true on earth at the bottom of the food chain Chemosynthetic microorganisms are found. Life forms that feed off the vents chemical emissions. Nice. And you can see here how small we are compared to the vent. Very cool. Okay, that's everything. So that's us up to date. Shall we now see what this is all about? Because um, for those who don't know, I bet you are dying to see what that is. It's going to be good. I will tell you now, it's going to be good. So yeah, Parvin, huh? Well, let's um, mooch on over here. What could it be that they needed security for, huh? Well, well, well. Remember what Sam was talking about? You, you're about to see what she meant. What happened here? Oh yeah, what did happen here? I sent so many things here. Death among them. Oh, Allah. Oh, yes. Ooh, are you ready? Ta da! Oh, it's so cool. Um, I'm not missing anything, am I? Okay, good. Right, let's, uh, let's grab this first. Pick up scanner. Oh, I don't need a scanner. Necklace! This was Sam's necklace. She never took it off. Yeah, well, I guess she left it for you. PDA, investigation report. Ah, oh, Phi excavation it site. Your sister's death was accompanied by significant destruction. Doesn't make any sense. She would never destroy a base. Well, baselessly. Are your feelings confused? I am detecting more than one. I, I don't know. I, I feel disillusioned, worried. I thought I knew Sam better than I really did. When we were kids, I was always the one breaking and rebuilding things. She wouldn't even go into a bake sale without a plan. For classic oatmeal cookies, no less. So serious. She wouldn't have anything to do with my molecularly transformed caramel pretzel lumps. Your mind goes easily to food. To distract you from your feelings. Okay, I think that's enough mind reading for now. This wasn't negligence. That's not Sam. This was... Something else. Hmm. Interesting. So it's now half destroyed. But look how cool he is. Look how cool. Is he now completely encased? Or can we still get to him? It looks different. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have a look. It's weird because in the trailer it was half uncovered, remember? And now it isn't anymore. So how did that happen? Copper wire, why not? Give me. It's in here. Oh, I don't need any more of those. Is this lube? Yes. Give me some lube. Just gonna check here first. Um, glass, yes please. I wanna take these things with me. Oh, penguin! I'm not gonna scan this one because then I'm gonna lose it. Advanced wiring kit. Yes, please. 
Oh, baby. I'm gonna see- I'm gonna see you, like, up top in a bit. Yeah, look at this. Ooh, hydrochloric acid. Thank you. Ooh. So yeah, we got a big old hand here. I think we can scan it. No? I don't scan it this time around? Interesting. Interesting. Alright. So... Ooh, I can- can I go underneath? Oh, I wanna go underneath this Tootsies. So we've got the prawn suit here. It's interesting that they've changed the ice. The ice was a lot more um, realistic last time and now it's more glass-like, which is a shame. Yeah, we can scan this dude. So we do get the prawn suit back in this, um, in this game, which is great. And what's really nice, one out of four. Oh, wonderful. But yeah, it's... It, I haven't actually used prawn suit in this yet, so it'd be interesting to see. It's gonna be different, we're the same. I wonder why they changed the ice. Alright, let's take the uh, elevator up. Yes! Look at that! So can we go inside? Oh, we can! Okay, so that's still the same. Look different. It's amazing. What's this? Inventory full. What have I got? What have I got on me? Oh, a lot of snowstalker fur. Um, um, I don't need this. And I guess I don't need lube. I can make that. But I do want the fiber mesh and synthetic fibers. <laughs> I love that it just got placed here. Right, let's have a look at this old beast. So that's the skull. So why can I do your foot? Oh, the teeth. Okay. Oh, I've got a reflection. Look. I've got a reflection. That's so cool. Whoa. It doesn't work well, but... Oh, I've got several... Whoa. Got several reflections. That's very strange. Can I do anything with the carafe? To scan it. Infect postules. What about this thing? Insert sample. Requires injectable container to function. Okay, so where do I get that? Where do I get the injectables? Hmm? Where do I get injectables? Go up here. Do 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 do. So cool. Mm, can I climb on the pus again? Yes, I can. Hmm. Can you just imagine if it does actually burst? Oh. What's the point of being able to get up here? It's interesting though. Right. So I can't scan anything else, just that. Can I see another foot? Oh, it's underneath. Yeah, so why can't I scan that one? I'm confused. But it's very cool. So this is what Sam found with the spy pangolin, right? And that's when the whole kind of shebang started for her. Right, I guess I'll go back down. Um, because I don't think there's anything else I can do. I need an injectable. And I don't know where to get that. And I don't need to scan it anywhere. Nope. Okay, so I, I need to find out. Maybe it's up there. I haven't been up there yet. Laters! Lady Gator! I would love if we, if we find one of these. Like somewhere alive still. I would be so happy. I'd be so happy. I mean, just look at it. Come on, go up. It's amazing. Right, so what's up here? Because I saw a table and... Probably a log or something. Yes, a PDA. Nice. Creature still dead, cave still boring. Alright. 
Well, I'm glad you uh, find such real, um, excitement in your job there, Parvan. Patrol log, excavation site, day 33, morning. I thought I saw something moving on the screen, but mm. it was just that I sneezed, wiped it off. Fred's yeah. not convinced the Leviathan is really dead, but I've never even seen it blink. Nevertheless, I am now undertaking the mandatory foot patrol. Inside the cave, confirming a whole lot of nothing. Creatures still dead, cave still boring. I miss the mining site. At least you could talk to people. Oh, wait now, what's this? A rock! I found an interesting rock. That makes three this week. Wow. The others will be happy to have a friend. Concluding patrol. Perimeter secured. Nothing to report. End log. <laughs> ah, Alexis Riedel. Independent investigator, Trans Gulf Affairs, reports to Altera. Hmm. I love her outfit. Very cool. Research. There you go. We found this thing buried in the glacier. Gave someone a hell of a fright. Turns out it was walking around a thousand years ago when it fell through the ice. It was infected with the Carabacterium, an aggressive disease which wiped out the architects and almost life on the planet. It is unclear whether the mutated Carab postules present, uh, present are responsible for the ultimate demise of the creature. Since the enzyme cure was released on 4546B, the bacterium have all but been eliminated. Rare specimens like these provide our only life source. Research on the bacterium has been transferred to the Secure Omega Laboratory, which also got blown up. While further research on the creature will be conducted at the excavation site. Hmm. Claws evolved to retain traction on the ice. So it was a land creature. And then it fell through the ice and died, but it was infected already. Lots of room for a brain, but it's mostly bone and fats. Oh no! Sharp teeth for tearing through flesh and bone. And then the postule. Kara infection postule. Environmental conditions and subtle mutations suggest that this var variant, variant, variant of the Kara bacterium's rate of transmission is somewhat lower than that of the widespread outbreak previously reported on 4546B. So could it be an older one? The bacteria's capacity to survive for a long period of time off of the Leviathan's corpse suggests highly efficient saprophytic properties. Scans indicate that the pustules are merely the visible component of a dense bacterial network feeding off of the dead cells of the Leviathan. Despite the risk, further research is recommended. Hmm... Interesting. I think I'm heading back to... my place, but I'm not entirely sure. Dangerous weather approaching. I know! Seek shelter. I know, I know. I'm just following the lights right now. Oh, I think this is where... That's the frozen beast. Oh, I haven't been down this way yet. Okay. Oh, interesting. What's in here? Food. I can use some food. So where's this? Oh, I see. Uh, I kind of need flares. Interesting. So we're here. All right. Also, I just want to say if you see any inconsistencies in, uh, like, what's on my screen and what's been ticked off, uh, it's because my, for some reason, this recording, this particular episode, um, my computer and both the game have continuously been crashing, and I don't know why. Um, it is very infuriating, so that's why there's been inconsistencies. Um, hope that's okay! There's nothing I can do about it. Okay, so where am I now? Oh! So where's my base? My, my buttery bisque? That's frozen beastie. Oh, you're over there. So where's this? Oh. Oh! 
see. There's more water there. I am confused. So where does this water go to? Whoa, God. Um, let me use my sea light so I don't... Oh, mm hmm Oh! Wow, that's pretty. Um, so where did I come from originally? This is a small cave. Is this where I come from? No, I think this is a runabout. Oh. I have no idea. I think this is where I originally went down, isn't it? But her biscuit base is over that way, so I should go that way. Yeah, I think this is where I went down originally. So if I can just find my way back. I have no idea. Is this because I said it wasn't like... Um, it's not like a big map, so you can't really get lost? It's my punishment, isn't it? Who's in here? Oh, this is where I came from. I think. Or not. No, it is, yeah. So I'll just go back up here, I think. I don't know why I'm holding my sea glide, but... You know. Let me climb! Oh, because I have the sea glide, I can? Come on, let me climb. I gotta go back! I wanna go back to base! So we can go the other way. Eventually. Um, let me see. So where am I? Right, frozen beast is there, so I need to go that way. Yeah, my base is that way. Oh, here it is! Oh, yes, I remember this site. So fire robotics is over there. So if I want to go back to that, I just need to go over that little... Yes, we were so close. Oh, I almost went the wrong way. Just as well, I, I remember it. Slightly remembered. Hmm, but the plot grows thicker and thicker. Oh, wait. No, I still don't have anything in my inventory. I was gonna pick up all the stuff that I left behind there last time, but I still can because my butt's still full of all sorts. Alright, let's go back to base. And go over all the things. Back, baby! Nice! Welcome aboard, Captain. Right, the first thing I need to do is change this bed because I want the cool... The cool bed! I want the cool bed! Sorry, I'm Manuel. Manu. Um... Infantry full. Fuck. Um... Right, let's put some stuff in the stuff locker. Because there's lots of stuff in the stuff locker, so, you know. I still don't like that noise, and I still don't know what's causing that. I'm guessing it's the creatures underneath. Oh yeah, and Sam's necklace. Hmm. Um, right. Oof. I want... I want this bed! I want Ivan's... bed. Nice. Maybe I'll make it, like, sideways. No, that's stupid. Wish there was another way to rotate. There you go. I need fiber mesh, I just put that away. Typical. Nice! Yeah, ghosty! Look at him! Oh, get off my land! Oh, he's so cool. I've always wanted uh, merch with this. I will get it one day. When I'm wealthy right i need to get some stuff for my stuff do i have more tech to put in here yeah i have a second scanner for some reason and um, i think i picked that up earlier let's put some more flares in here because there's so many flares so many fl oh we got new posters yes let's put up the posters baby let's put up some sweet posts 
Um, put you there, I think. There! Nice. You know, nice. We like the Reaper. Even if he was a little bit weird. Mostly because he ate all my peepers. In one go. Yeah! And there's the Sea Dragon. Which is also a, uh, a piece of merch that you can get. Nice! Oh, uh, the bed's not really in the middle, but that's fine. You'll just have to ignore that. All right, we've got plenty of fur to make snow stalker. Uh, snow stalker. Um, the fur suit, <laughs> the cold suit. So yeah. Oh, I just need to fiber mesh for that. Cool. So let's make that. Need a lot of fiber mesh for that actually. I can make some of it. Let's make the full suit. First. Oh, sorry. No pun intended. Nice. Made of tightly knit Kevlar microfiber and insulated with an alpine yoke around the neck and shoulders, the cold suit is designed to delay the onset of hypothermia. Very nice. Oh, I do have enough. It's like they knew. They knew if you picked up all the fiber meshes, you'd be fine. Right. So let's put that on for now because we're going to be on land for a little bit, I think. Um, yeah, so I do have to switch out like the rebreather with the, the cold suit helmet every time. Which is... I have another snowball. When did I pick that up? I don't remember that. Um, which is a little bit of a pain, but, you know, it's better than freezing to death every time. Got a few photos, you know, just of uh, Frozy over here. Coolio. Let's just call him Coolio. And there was one more databank thing. Indigenous life forms, flora, land. Oh yeah, the Frosticacia. So, the Frosticacia. This unusual multi-trunked tree is highly adapted to the harsh conditions of its glacial environment. Nutrient sources are infrequent and limited on the glacier and these trees create fast-growing root systems that, that search out rocky material trapped in the ice. The dense foliage captures energy from the sun via photosynthesis and provides a sheltered environment for the growth of its bioluminescent fruit. Nice! I really, I just, I, I don't know about you, but I love bioluminescence. It's, it's just one of those wondrous things of, of nature that seems both magical and so close to home at the same time. It's just so nice and uh, I hope I get to see some of it in real life at some point. Apart from um, glowworms and fireflies, I've not seen bioluminescence uh, from anything that I can recall anyway. Uh, not even in aquariums. So it would be quite nice to um, to witness that one day in real life. Hopefully when I go back to Australia one day, I want to go see a lot of their goodness. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the episode there. Um, sorry if things were a little bit inconsistent, but as I explained, it was because of a lot of tech issues. My PC and and the game as well just did not want to play ball. I don't know what it was. It was like every 15 minutes, it was like crashing. And then the last time that I, I fired up Subnautica or tried to, it said it was uninstalled. Which is like, what? But luckily, my saved games were still there, so that's what's most important. We got through it, and you didn't know any different, really, did you? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining me, as always, and I will see you when I see you. No, no don't die again. Oh, come on, don't make me do this again. Fuck's sake!